Hello everyone, and welcome back to our historic Montreal Expos uh, playthrough here in Out of the Park Baseball 19. And if you guys remember, we are sitting right at the 2000 All-Star break, and the first thing we're going to do in this episode is uh, do what our viewer told us, one of our viewers, uh, Tyler, I believe his name is, uh, thank you for this, shout out to him. Um, he said, go and offer, uh, set a free agent... Offer Smoltzy here, who we're very interested in, offer him a minor league contract. So, that is what we're going to do, and we'll see what uh, see what he says here in a few days. But, that'd be really cool if we could get him on the uh, on the roster here. Um, other than that, nothing really going on here. We are going to sim till about... Uh, we're going to sim to the trade deadline. That seems... <clears throat> excuse me. That seems like a good spot to simulate to. And uh, we'll see if we should make some moves, and we'll see what the team looks like. All right, so we are going to uh, head on out. All right, so we simped one day, and Smoltz got right back to us, and it's not having any bit of that minor league contract. So Smoltz, uh, yeah, he still wants that uh, one year, one point one million. Uh, he's not really happy with us anymore after uh, giving, trying to give him that uh, minor league deal. But uh, it was worth the try, and uh, yeah, we're going to head towards that uh, trade deadline now. Okay, and uh, Lee Stevens here, um, his time on the waiver market, he has cleared waivers, so uh, he refuses to be demoted down to AAA, so um, we're just going to release him. Uh, I have no need for Lee Stevens, and this will add uh, about half a mil to our player expenses, that's fine. And Lee Stevens is uh, no longer on the roster. So that is that. And we're moving on. All right. So we arrived here at the trading deadline. And um, let's check out that schedule, how we've been doing. So we've actually been winning some games here. Uh, two out of three from Tampa. Lost the series to Boston. Took two games against the Mets. Took another two games against the Mets here. And took two out of three from Cincy. Um so, uh, we're looking actually pretty good here post All Star break. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, Rabu is not pitching well at all. I feel like we should chop him around and see if we can get anything. Um, they want to give up Andrew uh, a Lorraine, so that's not what we're feeling. Um, hmm. Mm -hmm. Should we still try and get rid of uh, Urbina here? I think we really should. Because that is... Really. Terry Schumpert, that's the best offer out there. Interesting. Um, let's go to make a trade. Uh, let's check out that trading block. And wow, look at all these names. Oh, hello. 28-year-old Pedro Martinez, huh? Oh, he's only under contract for one year. Oh, man, I would... Love to bring Pedro in. Absolutely love. Barry Bonds is out there on the trade market too. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, a young Manny M Ramirez. There's so many good names out here. Uh, hmm, Trevor Hoffman. Oh, I would love, absolutely love to bring in Pedro, but there's just zero shot. I mean, anything works? Yeah, no, nothing, nothing works. Even if I put in uh, youth grid here, my boy, yeah, you're going to have to retain uh, just about all of that. <laughs> yeah, no, 100%. Yeah. All right. So that's that. Uh, we're going to go back to the trading block. Um, let's see what else we got cooking here. Mike Liberthal. Hmm. That'll be a, that would be a nice person to add to our catching. So we're really looking for third base because Milton Bradley's filling in very nicely in center. He's actually killing it. Um, Tracy's looking good at first. Blum's fine at short. So we're really looking for a third baseman and then starting pitching. So, hmm. You got Kevin Brown here, who's towards the end of his career. Um, Cheng Ho Park. That's an interesting one. There's no real third basemans out here right now. Well, 
uh, Ugreth is all the way down here. Interesting. Jose Valentin. Robin Ventura. Hmm. I just, I need some kind of start on the starting pitching. Like, you know, just someone. Jose Lima. He, that's an interesting one. Six million contract, though. He's uh he's definitely polarizing, I'll tell you that. <laughs> That's funny, his personality uses more shaving cream to pie his teammates than to shave with. Um Okay, just make it just just wondering. Uh anyway, let's go back to team home screen. So we're gonna look at our salaries one more time here, and I'm just checking things out. Really wanna get rid of him. And free up that four point six million for the off season. But I don't want to just give them away, you know. Uh, I think since the market, I don't know. Let's see, standings. Uh, you know, actually, sorry guys. Let's go to the, make a trade. Let's see who is in the win now. You got the Diamondbacks, the Indians, the Yankees. Yankees, what would uh, what would you give me for uh, my boy Ugreth here? Uh, let's see your prospects. Wow, you guys don't have like any prospects. So that's fun. Um, all right, Cleveland Indians, who you got? Ho oh, ho, <laughs> CC Savathia, huh? Uh, let's see if we can make that trade. Oh, yeah, they want uh, Vasquez there, my twenty-four-year-old stud. Um, getting a, a young CC would be absolutely phenomenal. Talent to be a top reliever, even a future closer. Yeah, try a two hundred game plus uh, starting pitcher there. Uh, let's go to our prospects. Let's see. Uh, what if I gave you guys Billingsley? I know he's in our starting rotation now, but yeah, they're, they're not about that. Let's go back to our active roster. Um, hmm. Telford? No. Uh, I know that trade was probably not going to go through, but uh, I'm trying some crazy things here. Don't want to get rid of Klein because that means we'll have zero relievers. What if, what if we do this? Okay, so they still want like Cliff Lee or Bay, so that's not really gonna fly. So Victor Martinez, that could be a fun one to grab. No, Ryan Church. No, Willie Tavares. That he's. Zach Day, Johnny Peralta. Those are all some pretty good names there in Cleveland. Um, don't think it's going to work, though. <laughs> so who else has got the win-now mentality? The Diamondbacks, who have Valverde, Brandon Webb. Ooh, that would be not going to happen, but ooh, we'll see what's going on here. Would you take Klein instead? Um so Arizona cannot afford. What if uh, what if I retain Klein's contract, hundred uh, percent? Yeah, they still want Bay, Lee, Sizemore. So they, <clears throat> excuse me, they want one of our top prospects here. So I don't think it's worth it to go for Brandon Webb unless I'm uh, just looking down who else they got here. Lyle Overbay. <laughs> 22-year-old Jose Valverde. Love it. <laughs> um, I just love looking at some of these names. What if I gave you... What if I gave you Billingsley? Hmm? No, they want Wilkerson. Who's tearing it up in AAA. So I don't think that's the right call. Although outfield is going to be kind of congested. And having Brandon Webb would be phenomenal. What is he in? He's in double A right now, the 21-year-old. Hmm. He's not really pitching well, though, so. Advocates are going to move. Gradual acclimations won't force it. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, because if I get rid of Klein, who's having a fantastic year, <clears throat> um, I don't know, though. Let's go back. Sorry, this is taking so long, guys. I just really want to get the best deal for this. Uh, where's Klein? Klein, Klein, Klein. Uh, he's only looking at $2.3 in arbitration. So I guess we're just going to stick with what we have for right now. 
because nothing else is really working. Uh, yeah. All right. So I guess uh, I guess we're gonna stay put here at the trading deadline, even though I feel we should be selling just something. Okay, but no one, uh, no one wants our uh, our boy Ugreth here. Just Terry Sh Shumper of the Rockies. So not really gonna fly. So uh, <clears throat> excuse me. We're gonna play through. Uh, we're gonna sim next up to uh, August, and uh, we'll see where the team's at. So let's get to it. All right, welcome to uh, Friday, September 1st here, and we got the news that Andy Tracy has been named the NL Rookie of the Month. So he had 30 hits, 8 home runs, 25 RBIs, tearing it up right now he is. Uh, he has got 13 home runs on the season with 42 RBIs, so I mean, yeah, he's uh, he's doing quite well for us, so uh, <laughs> we're going to keep him with that hot hand up. Oh. Third row is now up over 100 RBIs. Vlad is <laughs> Vlad's killing it. Um, so all is good there. Uh, pitching is, I mean, besides Vasquez, the pitching is uh, mediocre at best here. Um, but yeah, uh, Strickland, uh, that's a struggle. 6-5 ERA and Lira. Uh, we're going to send Lira down. Uh, you know what? Actually, since it's... Uh, the end of that. Um, so what, since it is uh, September 1st, we like to um, go and offer extensions to all our minor league guys, and we'll go over to upcoming free agents and give uh, all minor league free agents uh, contract extensions, so that's good. And I think that's fine. Ooh, Guillermo Mota. How old is he? 27? And he's in what? Gulf Coast League? Hmm. I feel like we might want to bring him up. Promote to Montreal. Let's see what happens. Because in real life, Momota has some decent innings in him. And it's also the roster expansion, so we can bring up some uh, players here. And I think oh, I would love to have brought up Wilkerson, but he's out for two weeks. Um, Don't want Bergeron back in the majors. Uh, carry bridges. Nah. Um, I think, I think that's it actually. No one really is uh, popping out here over here in triple a. So we're just going to leave that be. And, uh, yeah, we're going to, uh, sim out the rest of the season and then we'll look at standings. Uh, we're 30 games out. Crazy. Um, we're going to look at standings then at that point, and then also look at, uh, end of the year, uh, statistics and stuff like that. So, uh, we're going to get right to, uh, the end of the season here. All right. So tough break here, uh, Tuesday, September 19th, Vladimir Guerrero, um, has a fractured foot, so he's going to be out three weeks and that'll probably do it for him for the season. So he's going to finish with 39 home runs, 116 RBIs. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, just typical Vlad. So we're just going to place him on the 15 day DL here. And if we look, I just want to make sure we got, okay, one, two, and yeah, three weeks. So he, he's done for the season. Uh, we need to bring up another left, an outfielder. And of course, Wilkerson is an uncertain return date. And that's really who I wanted to bring up. So that's tough. <laughs> um, we could bring up uh, I guess we're going to bring up uh, Bergeron here. We're going to promote him to uh, Montreal. And yeah. So I think the rest is okay. Yeah, we're just going to we're going to try and get to August here. And of course, uh, if you guys see we have been eliminated out of the playoffs, not that we thought we would make it this season, but uh that's just where we're sitting. All right. So, uh, we are at the day after the regular season has ended, and we are we finished the season seventy three and eighty nine. Uh, Milton Bradley absolutely tore it up since being called up three hundred four, eight home runs, thirty three RBIs. So it looks like uh, we're gonna slot him into center field uh, next season, starting that off. <clears throat> Excuse me, Rondell White over there in left field did very well, almost getting to that hundred RBI plateau that we love to see. Uh, Vidro did uh, phenomenal. 
hit 333, 26 home runs, 123, yes, 123 RBIs. Andy Tracy looked fantastic since calling him up. And Fernando Segunal, uh playing right field, had a pretty good season. Um, of course, Vlad is our typical right fielder, but that was that. Blum, 266, fine. Pat Lennon, 209. We're definitely going to need an upgrade at third. And Widger hit 231, so catcher, we might need an upgrade too. And if we look at NL rankings, 10th in run scored, uh, that's the one that uh, really stands out. Uh, our batting average needs to be a little higher, I believe. Our, actually, you know what? Let's work on the on-base percentage. Um, and our starter ERA was uh, mediocre at best. And then our bullpen was absolutely terrible. So what we're going to work on this offseason is probably bullpen and upgrading third. And uh, I obviously want a top-notch starting pitcher, I believe. That's what we really want to go for. So we're going to check out the playoff coverage here, standings. Um, I want to just show you guys who did what. So the Braves won the East with 109 wins, really good season. The Cards won the Central with 84 wins. That's it. Not that crazy. Uh, your the Giants won in the West with the Dodgers with the wild card spot, and this is still where there's only one wild card spot. So the Marlins missed out on the playoffs. And the Yankees won the East, Cleveland the Central, and Seattle took the West with the Rangers getting the wild card spot. So, yeah, that is how that looks. And, uh, of course, Javier Vasquez, 17-9, and 9, uh, 270 inning pitch. Wow, he had a 10 war. That is incredible. Uh, 233 RA. Uh, really good season out of him. A 10 war is just fantastic. So he's definitely going to be in our plans. Dustin Hermanson looked f pretty good, actually. I mean, yeah, a lot of losses, but uh, ERA is fine. I like it. What was his war? Let's check that out. 3-1. I'll take it. So that is that. Let's look at the leaderboards. Uh, Todd Helton with a 401 <laughs> average. Got the batting average title. That is crazy, 401. Uh, RBIs went to Andrew Jones, who had 174. That's wild. With a 10.5 war. Oh my goodness. 23-year-old Andrew Jones hitting 174 RBIs. Ooh. Whew. Home runs, uh, <laughs> Mark McGuire. The 37-year-old Mark McGuire hits 50 home runs. Wow, yeah, he is uh he's on the war path here with home runs. So that is his thing. Uh that's a pretty good stat line. Uh yeah, uh, I don't know what else you guys want to see. War, yeah. Andrew Jones and then Helton with a nine. Uh those Rockies have a lot of those stats here. Doubles. Oh, Vidro had 54 doubles. He's in there. Uh let's check out pitching. See if our boy got into anything. No Vasquez. Uh third in the league in ERA, so we'll take that. Greg Maddox led the league in wins with 24. And pitching war, our boy beat out Randy Johnson for the league lead. And Jeff Shaw led the league in saves. So that, wow. Vasquez, five complete games with Tommy Glavin getting seven. So he was right behind Glavin for that. That's really cool. Uh, yeah, Vasquez beat out Maddox and Glavin there to get the, the uh, innings pitched. Uh, lead, <laughs> if you will. Um, so yeah, we're now uh, looking at the playoffs here. We got, so it's right back into series. So it's best of five. You got Texas and Seattle, Cleveland, New York, LA Braves, and Cardinals Giants. So uh, I think we're going to sim those this episode. And uh, then we'll move on to that off season and uh, see what happens here. So uh, I'm going to sim through each series and we'll show you guys the results. All right, so uh, the Mariners beat the Rangers in five. Cleveland slept, swept the Yankees. Dodgers beat the Braves in five, and the Cards beat the Giants in five. So it is Cardinals, Dodgers, Cleveland, Seattle, and it's definitely going to be a different World Series champion than in real life because the Yankees won the 2000 World Series back in the day. So, yeah, um, maybe Seattle here has a shot to get its first World Series. 
uh, you know, they're still working on it now here in 2018. So yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty exciting. We'll see how this shakes out. All right. So Seattle is your AL champs and uh, they beat Cleveland four games to one and they're going to be facing the Dodgers who beat the Cardinals four games to one. So Seattle and LA here in the 2000 world series. Uh, we're going to jump right on into it and see who's the champ. And the L.A. Dodgers win uh, the World Series uh, with four. It was a it went to seven games, I believe. Correct. Playing playoff coverage. Playoff tree. Yes, it went to seven games. And your Dodgers are the World Series champions. Kevin Brown was the ace of that staff. Chang'o Park. Uh, D4. Uh, Lang- Lagone. Uh, that's the team that had Beltre, Sheffield, uh, Hudley. Uh, it's a pretty good team. Obviously, Sean Green it won a World Series just now. So, yeah. Um, and they were the uh, they were the wild card team. So that's pretty wild to see that happen. So um, we're gonna go to front office here right before the off season starts. And so our bench coach's contract is going to expire. So we're gonna give him an extension that'll be fine one year. Um, our pitching coach Vinny Rodriguez here. Uh, we're gonna look at his relationship. So. We're actually going to let him go and maybe find a new pitching coach because our pitching was kind of weak. So that's fine. Uh, and then Dwayne here, his contract is also expiring, but I kind of like... I'm going to offer him an extension because I didn't think our offense was the worst. So we're going to get him back. Um, yeah, that's all good. Manager Feldman, he's signed through 2003. Okay, and we're going to hit that off-season starts button. Maybe. <laughs> Come on. You got this. Just a lot to process, probably. Yes, um, this is not a very good score. Yes, thank you, I know. Okay, so we'll read all those messages. So, new budget. Um, we have our personnel. Yes, our pitching coach. We knew that. Arbitration begins. Um, wow. Mike Sosha fired. That's kind of crazy. And Larry Rothschild is also gone in Tampa Bay there. So, uh, we, this is probably a good end point of this episode. Um, our next episode is obviously going to be the off season. You guys should definitely tune in and watch that one because we're going to make, uh, going to make some, uh, strong moves here. I think, um, check this front office real quick. Uh, okay, our play- payroll's getting up there, but that's fine. Um, we got out arbitration. So we got a bunch of people eligible for arbitration. Uh, we're going to see what's going on there. Um, but yeah, so uh, thank you guys all for watching. If you could please like, comment, and hit, not hit, smash that subscribe button for me. And uh, we will see you all next time. Have a great day.